For anyone who's spent time aboard a full-size e-bike, you've likely daydreamed of applying just the benefits of some motor assist to your acoustic enduro bike while maintaining that nice, agile, lively feel. Building on a successful suspension platform and many features that we have seen released on other bikes this year, Specialized has stepped up to the plate with their new Turbo Kinevo SL. From the visual similarities alone, it should be no surprise that the Kinevo SL is built mostly off the successful geometry of the Enduro platform. The Kinevo SL will be launching with two models, topping out with the S-Works model, which is highlighted by SRAM Access Drivetrain, Dropper Post, as well as Factory Fox Suspension. We were lucky enough to test their Expert model, which is the second offering they will be launching with. That is highlighted by Fox Performance Suspension, as well as Mechanical XO Drivetrain. Differing from the Enduro, the Kinevo SL flaunts many of the geometry adjusts that we have first seen on the Stump Jumper Evo, followed by the Turbo Levo earlier this year. With these two adjustments, you end up with six different geometry configurations. As tested, our size S4 frame has a reach of 489 millimeters, a BB height of 356 millimeters, a wheelbase of 1,282 millimeters, the head tube angle comes in at 63.9 degrees, and chain stain length is 442 millimeters. These geometry numbers are with the bottom bracket and the high setting as well as the headset cup in the middle configuration. A system already seen on the Levo SL, the specialized SL motor offers 240 watts of power and 35 newton meters of torque, which essentially doubles your effort at the pedals. Differing from the Levo SL is updates to the system firmware that smooths out entrance of power as well as easing off assistance, especially at slower speeds. The previous iteration had the tendency to lurch and lag when stopping and going while climbing at lower RPMs that now feels more like a natural progression of assistance. Powering the SL motor is a 320 watt battery which can provide up to four and a half hours of ride time or up to seven hours when combined with a 160 watt hour SL range extender. While well, the expert build that we tested does not come with the range extender, it does come out of the box with the S-Works model, but it can be purchased separately for 450 US dollars. During our time on the Kinevo SL, most of our ride times were somewhere around the two and a half hour range. As an example, a normal after work ride for us would be somewhere around 10 miles with about 2,800 feet of vert, usually climbed anywhere from 50 to 100% motor assistance, which would usually leave us with right around 50% battery life at the end. I think a great option with that range extender is it does give people who have the funds to pick up one the option to, you know, charge that whole system up, do more rides, and only have to, you know, be plugging in their bike, you know, maybe every one to three rides as opposed to after every single ride time. Controlling and blending how rider input, motor, battery, and bike interact is the Mastermind Turbo Control Unit, also known as the TCU. Launched with the new Turbo Levo in March, this small but detailed top tube display provides intuitive information for mid-ride data and bike details. With four display orientations and 30 possible data values, you can easily keep tabs on speed, ride distance, battery percentage time, elevation tracking, and many other things. You can continue diving deeper into personalizing the Kinevo SL with the specialized Mission Control app. When connected via Bluetooth, you can observe battery health, odometer, diagnostic analysis, as well as personalizing motor assistance and eco trail and turbo modes. Notable app features also include smart control where you can set ride parameters to ensure a given battery percentage remains at the end of a ride. Simply set parameters of ride length, planned elevation gain and battery percentage you'd like to remain after the first ride, and the app will make sure that motor assistance is regulated to maintain battery life. Lastly, Specialized offers over-the-air updates so that as new features or technology is developed, your bike remains current and up-to-date. With the smart control, you can also connect your heart rate monitor to then set parameters on a heart rate zone that you want to stay in, and then the motor will only give you so much power to make sure you stay within that range. The SL motor definitely provided um, enough power on climbs. I didn't find that there was any time that I was wishing that I had more power. I think that the only price you have to pay with this is just a slower average pace when you're climbing. There might be the chance that, you know, someone on a full-size e-bike does pass you on the climb, but you are gonna get to the top, and if desired, you can basically just spin the pedals and uh, not have any effort really being put out. The firmware updates to the super light system definitely provides much more controlled power at the pedals. Uh, this is super noticeable when things get punchy and steep or loose. There's a nice natural power delivery. Um, definitely found that 
kind of the lower slacker, slightly larger reach of the Levo SL in that S4 sizing did give us some moments of a little bit light on the front wheel feeling, especially when things got steeper. You know, I think this is just the nature of riding a 170 millimeter travel bike with that lower slacker geometry of today. A new and definitely loved feature by us is the Microtune adjustment. This allows you to incrementally adjust how much power assist the motor is providing. Does this in 10% increments. This definitely has a much more natural feel when you're pedaling, kind of like shifting to find the right gear on a climb. You can really match the power assist to kind of maintain that same cadence when pedaling. And speaking of cadence, Specialized does recommend a 75 RPM cadence to maximize battery life and efficiency when pedaling. So as expected, the Kinevo SL is a beast on the descents. With a 170 millimeter chassis, this thing is built for the roughest, steepest, most bomb hill filled trails you can picture. So our journey with the Kinevo SL began at Press Camp in Port Angeles, Washington. There we were gifted with incredible trails, a mix of downhill race tracks, uh, moto trails, and fresh loamers. Having a 170 millimeter travel chassis and a very rearward axle path really allows this bike to take on multiple deep compressions in a row. Most of the time when we were in Washington, the trails were very slick, very wet, lots of roots, a uh, decent amount of rocks, very different from our trails here locally in Boise, Idaho. Uh, this was you know, a nice counter to kind of the fast, flowy, uh, very high speed trails that we're used to here. I was super impressed with the Float X2 on the rear end that for only being the performance level from Fox, it definitely did a great job at you know, staying high in the travel, uh, it still did bottom out plenty of times, but you know this is expected and really wanted from a bike that you're pushing your limits on. Another standout spec on this build is the Specialized Butcher tires. Up front we had a T9 compound and in the back we had a T7 compound. While we were in Washington with things being very slick and wet, I was really impressed with the compound of this tire that did a great job at shedding mud and really hooking up when things were slick. So at 42 pounds, the Kinevo SL is definitely light for an e-bike, but still heavier than most standard bikes of today. Much of the way the Kinevo SL is found very centered and low on the bike. This does wonders for settling into corners, um, just staying very planted and straight when things get rough. The bike never really gets unsettled. It does a great job at picking a line and really staying straight, but that little bit lighter feel compared to a full turbo e-bike really allows you to change direction when need be. Uh, it's a very maneuverable bike. At almost a 1300 millimeter wheelbase, it was still very impressive how great this bike did at transitioning between tight corners or when things would get really steep and slow and technical. Never felt like it was too much bike to maneuver or really put right where you wanted it. When back on our home trails in Boise, Idaho that are definitely have a much higher average speed. Uh, things are a lot more flowy, you get slower compressions. Um, this thing was definitely very stable. You know, that longer wheelbase, as well as being slacker, a lower bottom bracket, definitely lends itself to feeling stable, definitely allowing you to really pump and carry speed through a lot of rough sections. While most of the spec of our expert Kinevo SL build was super appropriate and on par for what we'd expect for a bike that's very geared towards aggressive downhill descending. The one thing that stood out to us that maybe wasn't up to that same par was the aluminum Roval Traverse wheels. Did stand up to a lot of abuse, but I think if you're gonna be picking up this bike, this might be one of the first things that you look at replacing over time. They seem to bend and squirm literally a bit under us when things got really rough, rocky, and proper. Again, with the Kinevo SL being very geared towards descending, one other aspect of this bike that we see as being you know, potential for long-term durability issues is only having 200 mil rear rotor in the back. Uh, from our own you know, short test period, we have had excessive wear of the brake pads in the rear compared to the front, as well as some fading on longer descents. If your flavor of mountain biking is chasing long, rough descents, and you really just want your bike to be able to get you to the top eventually and comfortably, why not be greedy and be able to climb faster so you can descend more? Aboard the new Kinevo SL, you'll still burn some calories on the climbs and might even get passed by a few full-size e-bikes along the way, 
but once gravity takes over, its expertise will shine through. The Kinevo SL truly sets a new standard for what is expected from an assisted mountain bike, especially for those who crave just one more descent. Make sure to like and subscribe this video, and for more information on the Kinevo SL, you can head over to vitalmtb.com.